going. He said, be up in four hours. We're going to look at a car. And uh, I have no idea what it is. All I know is that it is not shiny. <laughs> Definitely not. 1970 Mach 1 428 with 8,521 original miles, guys. Absolutely crazy. I mean, think about that. It's a 1970 Mach 1 428. That's like practically new with only 8,500 miles on it. Are we gonna clean it up? What are we gonna do with it, Joe? Yeah, I don't know. I can't it. wait to see this thing. I know, I'm guys. Super excited. Stay tuned. And we're gonna bring you guys with us. Like I said, it's five o'clock in the morning, so sorry for you know we got probably groggy eyes, but it, it's all gonna be worth it. I can't wait. <laughs> We're here. All right, let's take a quick peek. Joe, you ready? Yeah. Looks like it needs a little bit of work. Just put some air in the tires, so we're ready there to go. There she is, 8,000 original miles. <laughs> It's like a little, a little bit more than 800 miles for this bad boy. Good. There she is, huh? Super excited. You want to drop like a look at it? This is still the original undercoating over here. That's you. Like I said, original undercoating did do a very good job of preservation, but you can see all the original red primer over here. Pretty amazing. Original sticker. Absolutely insane. Oh, like up here? Oh, yeah. That's still there. You're like, this is masking tape right here? Yeah, I saw that. That's all, the original ball joints and shit are all still in it. Crazy. The more you analyze it, you can see the weird shit, like, you know, all the wires and stuff. That's the original sticker from the dealer. There's a lot of weird shit, you know what I mean? It's just... I probably know it's one of those Guy came to hood and then saw the car go, oh shit, it's that white in the back and right, black right, in the front. Right, it's crazy. Yeah. He said strange shit like that happens. It did happen. He said, like, they, did. they didn't pay him nothing. They just, no. Friday, they, they want to go home. You weren't special for them back then? No. I was at the end of Hood Light and that still work. Yeah. All right, guys, I finally got a chance to drive this bad boy. And uh, I will tell you, I am not disappointed at all whatsoever. This thing drives really good. And it hasn't been moved in ages. I'm just sitting here cruising around like we were back in 1970.
And just a reminder, guys, this vehicle is coming soon, but it is available for purchase. And if you wanted to get a little bit better glimpse at this baby, hop on over to No Reserve Classics, where you're able to take this vehicle as well as all of our other vehicles for a 360 degree tour, checking out the full exterior of this vehicle. That's right, just give her a 360 degree spin. And after you're done looking at the exterior of this bad boy, hop over to the inside, where you're able to see another 360 degree tour. And if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call at 1-800 562-7815 and enough looking at it. Let's talk a little bit more and let's jump right on. All right, well that was a ton of fun, Joe. Unfortunately, we got stuck in a lot of traffic coming on the way back, but we finally made it here, man. Look, what do you think now that you see it underneath the light? Absolutely miraculous and amazing, guys. This is one of those cars that you'll just never have the opportunity to see again. A true 1970 Mach 1 428 Cobra Jet with 8,521 miles. This car is completely all original. I still can't believe it. I can't believe what miles. I'm looking at. This is amazing. Guys, we've been doing classic cars for many years, and the rarity of having something like this in our presence is just exceptional. And even having the experience to actually go out there, look to it, speak to one of the owners who actually owned this vehicle. Yeah, the guy who owned it for over 20 years, if I'm not mistaken, knew all the ownership history, bought it from his neighbor, which was the original owner's brother that bought it in 1970. And how many miles did he put on it? Barely any, what do you put? I think he's the one who put most of the 8,521 miles because, so it was bought in 1970 and unfortunately the gentleman who bought this car had passed away in 1973. When he passed away, the family had to settle the estate. It took quite a while to settle the estate and this car sat in a climate controlled garage or I shouldn't say garage, under a basement of a house, um, a climate controlled basement at that, and it sat there for 10 or 12 years. Eventually, the uh, past owner's brother got the car and it stayed in his garage for the rest of the time until Mark bought this car in the late 1990s. So pretty cool history on this car. We do have an Elite Marty report on it. We do have a partial build sheet, which is very difficult to read, but it's cool that we do have it. And from my understanding, that Marty report says one really cool feature on there. It says one of one. One of one, yeah. This is a one of one car in this color combination and these options. Now keep in mind, this was a very highly optioned Mach 1 428. It came with air conditioning and all power steering and power brakes. And, and everything all, still works. Everything still works like it was yesterday. And you step in the interior of this car, it smells like a brand new car. <laughs> I, I mean, amazing. it's a 1970 Mach 1 <laughs> that still smells like a brand new car. Absolutely miraculous and amazing. But let me walk around the car and me and Chris will show you some yeah. really cool stuff that we found out with this car and, and talking to Mark, the past owner. Um, showed us some really cool stuff about this car and just stuff that you'll never see again on a super rare classic muscle car. So all you Ford collectors, pay close attention to this one. You'll know exactly what you're looking at. You wanna start underneath the hood? Where do you wanna start? Most important part, let's start let's underneath the hood, pop the hood. Well, actually, you know what? I wanna, I wanna show something else. You, show the, you see these stripes over here? These are the original stripes on the car. How amazing is that? And what's really cool is that that red that you, you see. You can see is, the red primer. That's actually the primer it's of the, the car. The primer from underneath the car. Now this was a factory mistake car, so it had black stripes in the front. It should have been matched up with the black stripes in the rear, the Mach 1 stripes, but it wasn't. They messed up at the factory. The original stripe is still in the rear, just like it is in the front, and they put white on the back and black on the front, which is a they pretty call, cool thing to see. In 1970, they didn't really care. They were just well, guys like, in an assembly line smacking shit together, they, right? They call that, uh, <laughs> what, a Friday car, right? It's yeah, Friday, Friday 4.30, night, we get out of here at five o'clock, throw that on there and see you later, right? Amazing piece of history. Let's pop the hood and check this thing out. Look at that. Look how nice that is. I mean, the original stampings on this car, I still can't believe it. I mean, look, we have some stamping up here right on the hood. I think there's another stamp over there by you, Joe. There's there's factory stampings on look. this car. Look underneath over here where it says 468. That's a factory chalk stamp from the assembly line. That's still present. How amazing is that? You got the same thing right on the, on the uh, passenger yeah. side. Even up here, I mean, the car has gotten, had to have a, a car wash at one point. How could that have not? It's chalk. 
How could not, that have not disappeared? You know what's crazy though, Chris? These would have been gray coming out of the factory and you could still see parts where you could still see the gray in some certain actions, uh, in some certain areas. Obviously this car has aged, it's from 1970, so debris and whatever else is on it, but all these bolts were, were supposed to be bare metal like these hinges and you could still see that bare metal underneath them because it was kept in a climate control garage. The other amazing thing that we'll talk about more in the interior as well is the rubbers. Yeah. The rubbers aren't dry rotted on yep. this car and that's what shows and that's what the true presence of the car being kept in a climate controlled environment its entire life. Yeah, I noticed that as soon as I opened the door, I said, wow, this door closed Crazy. really easily and I looked right at the rubber, it was like brand it's new. amazing. Well, one really cool thing is this unit right here, the smog. The smog, when do you ever see that? Never, <laughs> first, it's the first thing that comes off. It's the first thing people rip off. First thing that people right. take off. The smog. The radiator still has the number three stamping on the back. These are the original decals. You know what, I've never opened this air cleaner. Let's, let's take a look, let's see what's got on the knee. I hope a rat doesn't jump on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, look at that. Look wow. at that. That looks like a new air cleaner, though. Really. Which, you know what, is good. They maintain the car. Let's, let's do it over here. This is the original carburetor. I mean, everything is original underneath the hood. I don't even think the rubbers have been changed and they're in great condition. Everything is forged stamped. Oh, the flood, the factory connectors on them. You'll, see, you'll see the stampings. I think this is the washer fluid or the overflow. Still stamped Ford. Every piece of plastic on this car is still stamped Ford. Oh yeah. Fiberglass. The, it still has the fiberglass fan support over here, the fan shroud. It's amazing. I mean, it's just, this car is a true time capsule, a true one of one, one of a kind car. But let's take a little bit of a walk around, see what else we got. I mean, when we had the car on the lift, one of the things that you guys won't be able to tell because the car's on the turn table right now, is that little piece of, there's a piece of paper underneath. There's still paper on the shocks, on the control arms in the front, and the paper tag on the transmission are all still present underneath the car. I mean, the paper tags on the shocks, the transmission, the control arms. How insane is that? It still has the factory undercoating where you'll see the red primer. It starts with the undercoating towards the center and then it goes out into the sides into the red primer. So this is, this is almost like going back in time in 1970 or 1971, walking into a Ford dealership and buying a new car or a slightly used car with 8,000 miles and a very special car at that. Everything on this car is super oh easy. God. Original wheels and hubcaps that are on this car and trim rings, which are actually pretty cool looking. They're growing on me. When I first saw them, I'm like, oh, these are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're actually growing on me. I'm they're actually a fan cool. of them. I, I yeah. like them, yeah. They're nostalgic. Not really my style. We're getting there. But they're we're, nostalgic. We're, we're getting to start to be nostalgic. <laughs> I get it, I guess so. <laughs> we're so into pro touring and resto mod cars that this is just something that's as new and miraculous as it is for you guys, it is for us as well, because we're used to classic car appearances, but cars that are completely different and full pro touring, modern amenities, and essentially modern cars in a classic car body. So this is something that is completely different. The tires are not the original tires on the car, which I would imagine. But original style. Original style, style tires. I think they were changed in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. I can't I'm, confirm that, but I think Mark said he believes that it was done. Yeah, it would have had uh, BF Goodrich tires yeah, on there. Yeah, BF Goodrich is what it came with factory. All the original glass, which is in phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal shape. Yeah, I mean, just some dust on there, it's, that's it though. And we actually, uh, you know, obviously the car is very dirty. We did not take any of the dust off. I started wiping it down and I got screamed at, so I, I stopped doing that. Yeah, that's something that we're going to have to talk about in a little bit, Joe. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna I, I'm ready to get the garden hose right we now. We are going to have to I'm talk about this, that. Um, I'm into shiny cars. <laughs> it's, it's I like good looking cars. But. Shiny underneath the dust. Yeah, shiny underneath the dust. <laughs> I mean, to me, it, you know. But even the trim and everything, man, for it being... Great shape. Yeah. Great shape. It's, and, it's, it's and all the parts amazing. are there, right? Um, we opened the door, the lights turned on. We beeped the horn. Everything works perfectly. The blow, uh, the steering wheel that's on the car, the wood grain is still in great shape with one minor crack at the top, which is expected, but in great shape. All the rubbers on the body, which we'll talk about more when we circle around to the interior, are in phenomenal shape. But 
I want to talk about one more thing that I thought was absolutely amazing. I want to pop the trunk of this car. This is something you guys have to see. Look at that. Nothing, no musty smell. You can tell there's never been water in this truck. Does it smell like a dead body in there? No, there might have been one at one time, but there isn't one today. <laughs> so let's, the first thing we're gonna notice is the carpet that's in here. It's like a plastic with a cloth on the background. Still in great condition. Underneath that is some of the sound deadening material. Now that's got like a paper inlay on top of that. But what's really cool that Joe actually saw, I'm trying to be as careful as I can, is this, the cardboard drop-offs. Yeah, for the trunk drop-offs, they have cardboard closing up the area. How amazing is that? Ooh. When do you ever see that? Especially in these older cars, they, they tend to leak. And if you see the seals, even in the trunk. Yeah, look at this. Look. The rubbers are perfect. It's like it was just installed. There's no cracking in the rubbers. It's crazy. It literally looks like this car. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I could find a crack, but. No, like, actually, I don't find it. Joe, you were talking about the quality control? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Even the factory cloths covering the, the wire. I mean... Crazy. None of the wires Spare are tire brittle. Spare sticker. None of the wires are dry rotted. Metal and bolts on the latches. It's, it's crazy. It's like a brand new 1970. Man, imagine rolling off the dealership in 1970 with this bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, well, you could definitely imagine it with this car. All right, Joe, so enough about the trunk. Let's hop over to the inside. Jump right into the that, interior. Yeah, that's where we're going to be anyways, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Oops. I think it's so nice. It is. <laughs> it's amazing. Chris, where'd you come from? Just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the door first, right? First of all, I know we talked about this as well in the trunk. But again, the rubber, there's no cracking, there's no dry rotting, which is a good indication that this car was kept in a climate control garage, and that was in fact true. What Mark told us was correct. Original glass. Now, this is how you know a glass was never taken apart and put back together. Do it with one finger, Joe. This is how it should have been. Factory. <laughs> All right. Now, Another good indication of the condition of this car is the corner, the corners of the door. This one very good indication of a spot that usually rusts a lot. And it is factory and perfect. Again, the rubbers on the door, a little bit of dry rotting over here, but not bad for a car that's from 1970 and that's all original. Again, another great indication this car was kept in a climate controlled garage its entire life. Interior, my favorite part. This interior still looks and smells new. And it's got a lot of cushion <laughs> still in that seat. Some of those older cars, man, you sit in these seats and your butt just feels like you're touching the floor. The springs are all shot, the foam is shot. But look at this, so beautiful. And that horn blow steering wheel still works. It does have a Wait, slight... Wait, where'd you just beep? Where... What? That's it. You just squeeze it. That's Seriously? It. Yeah. That's how you... You don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. You just take this I never wheel. knew that. Yeah. How amazing is that? Look at the technology that it had <laughs> in 1970. That is great. And just look how the condition... I mean, we've had Door a, a bunch of these Mustangs before. Dash. Factory tachometer car. Factory option tachometer car. And I'll show you a really good indication that we know that 8,521 miles is correct. By the way, guys, that's 8,521 miles right now. I will be driving this car once I get the right fuel for it. Because this car still does take the 110. Uh, let it, fuel. Yeah, let it fuel. Uh, let it fuel. Hey, Joe, actually, you want to grab the keys real quick and let's show them how everything looks all lit yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, let me grab the keys. And one really cool thing that I noticed yesterday uh, after pulling this car in and out of the uh, trailer is something that's pretty cool that I like. I started off my life as an audio technician. It's your situations. Rick Township's annual summer. The radio still works. But it's not even that it still works. It's still like in new condition. Oh, the buttons are great. 
you find your station and then that's it. And the speakers actually sound, I don't wanna do the copyright, but the speakers actually sound like they're brand new. I got the ignition on and check this out. You guys hear that wind blowing? It's the air conditioning. Super strong. Even the chrome on here is still nice. And it transfers over, everything still functions. It transfers over from the defroster to the dash to the floorboard. Even the chrome on the shifter, the center console. Oh, Joe, look at this. Oh my God. Where'd you find that? Antifreeze loss. Hey, is there anything else that's cool in there? Yeah, a map. A map from what year? 1970. 1970. <laughs> I'm sure the roads still look the same. This thing is a true time capsule. What else is in there? I Condenser parts. We should put this car on the antique road show. Let's go. We're going to go on the road. <laughs> and look at this. Is the protecto plate? No, no, it's the no, actual this is a owner's Ford manual. Owner protecto plate. Wow. That is really, really cool. It literally looks like this car came off the dealer line and just sat. Yeah, well, it's like what I was saying before. It's like walking into a dealership and buying a, a slightly used brand new car. Yeah. And you know, I want to talk about that 8,500 miles again. A great indication that I've learned on these cars is look at the pedals on the car. The pedals have essentially no wear on them, which is a great indication to show a super low mileage car. The pedals still look like they're in new shape. You got the buzzer course, still, the working. Buzzer still working. Everything works on the car. Oh, it's the hard blinkers. To tell you can't see. See the blinkers, they still work in the hood. That's pretty cool to see. And it's got the factory ticker, Joe, that you oh, can yeah. hear it ticking back and forth. Yeah, I hear it. The clock's even working over here, so when you're driving me around later, I can just watch the uh, the clock go around. Yeah, man, you could watch time fly by. There you go. I'm or go back in time. I can just rewind it and I can go back in time. Being yeah, around this car, I feel like I went back in time. <laughs> even the, the Back to the works. Future is like one of my favorite movies, so this works out for me. What's in the glove compartment? Is there anything in there? No, just uh, hopes no other, and dreams. No other cool finds? Hopes and dreams. <laughs> and dreams. I'm sure that uh, the more we look into this car, I mean, we've had it only a couple hours and we're already having a blast. I mean, just simply unhook your seatbelt and let's yeah, go for a ride. When do you ever see that? <laughs> the original seatbelt hook. It still has the, the elasticity on it. Yeah. To, to hook it back up there. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Even the back seats. The back seats, all the lighting still functioning. Headliners in great shape. I saw that yesterday. Got our seat belts that, you know, people take those out, weight reduction. Even Joe, did you notice the choke on this car too? No. The choke is still functional. Uh, yeah, the car choke. And if you notice too, later on we'll, we'll get a video clip of it. When you start the motor, there's actually a vacuum line that opens up so when you put the ignition on, it chokes the motor out. Wow. So when you floor it, it actually opens up and releases more air into the engine. Did you wow. notice that on the, no, new, on the side that. of the carburetor? Yeah, no, that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't know, man. This thing's really cool. We're, Should I keep it? We're really... What? No. <laughs> Should, we <keep> it? <laughs> yes. Should we keep it in yes. the collection? No. No? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're, we're really lucky to actually have this opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to have a vehicle like this and to actually be able to speak to one of the owners and feel the real American, I don't know, history. history. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's crazy. We'll never have this opportunity again. We'll in never our have life. this opportunity again. And, and for everybody that's watching this right now, again, for a Ford collector or- Anybody. If you're just looking for an, a truly amazing investment grade car, um, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It is very rare that cars like this come to the market. And it is very rare- If it comes to the market. The, if it comes <laughs> to the market. And, if it's, and it's very rare for someone to be able to have the opportunity to acquire um, a piece of history like this. All right, now that we got her all filled up, let's start her up, take her for a drive. Here we go. We are driving this 1970 Mach 1. Uh, it's now got 8,524 miles on it. I put three miles getting it to a local park and we are going to be putting another 
10 miles on the car. So uh, come along with us for the ride and uh, have some fun with us. Do it. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little worrying being the fact that this car has been sitting in a climate controlled garage essentially since the 70s without being actually driven. It's been started, maintained, driven up and down a driveway from what we've been told. Um, but it has not been driven on the road. So here we are. We are going to be driving it on the road. Pretty much like a maiden, maiden voyage, like a boat. We're setting out <laughs> to sea for the first time, right? Back in 1970, just picked up this baby straight from the dealership and uh, got a little pep in her step for her old age, huh? I'm not even really touching the pedal. Yeah, I definitely think uh, once we go through the car, check everything check all the bushings check the uh, control arms all the mounts and stuff like that we'll definitely be able to uh enjoy it just a little bit more than we uh, are right now definitely tough with a car like this Did you feel wow. that the AC it's cold cold, cold. That's, a, that's why it was stalling down <laughs> yeah yep because it didn't do that and on. it wasn't cold before we turned the ac on the ac started that's blowing so cold awesome. the compressor started working <laughs> That is crazy. It's just some of the things. It's amazing. It's like this thing is coming back to life. Yeah, slowly. Slowly coming back to life. So amazing to be part of something like this. It really <laughs> is. We both noticed that at the same exact time. That was awesome. Wow. And it's like starting to dry. It's like, it's crazy. It's like starting to come back to life. That is unreal. Ladies and gentlemen, this still has the original Freon in it. it the air conditioning is still blowing cold. And, and the brakes too. Oh, still have the same problem. <laughs> Spoke too soon. And I gotta tell you, this thing's got some power. I guess for, you know, I guess it's a 428 Cobra jet. It's it gotta, should. It's gotta get some. Uh, like, here we go. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Me and Chris have been doing this since we were 16 years old. That's so, the truth, uh, right? That yeah, is wow. a truth. Yeah, 16 years old. Well, you were 17, I was 16. Yeah. We've been around these cars for quite a while, and uh, yeah, we haven't worked a day in our life, and we get to be around amazing opportunities just like this. I mean, how many people get the opportunity to drive a 1970 Mach 1 428 Cobra jet, fresh barn find with 8,521 original miles. Right now we got 8,526 miles so far. Um, and to be able to take this car out for the first time in, since the 1970s. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. It's amazing. I think we've, uh, you well, you've put more miles on this car today than, it than, it's, than in it's had in probably in 20, 30 years. 20, 30 years, yeah. Yeah, the gentleman we bought it from had it for the past 20 some odd years. And according to the title, he put on 21 miles on the car. And um, which everything matches up, everything everything lines matches up, perfect, up everything so. makes complete sense. And he said he only uh, started up just for maintenance purposes and drove it up and down his driveway once in a while to keep everything moving and fresh. But just a uh, an amazing, amazing experience. The tachometer is not working right now. I imagine that's a very simple fix. But the clock is working. The clock is working. <laughs> the original air conditioning is working. Yes. This is really. <laughs> That is really the only thing that we've noticed is not working is the tachometer in the car, which is probably just the wire going to the distributor just came off at some point. I just like the way how how everything looks and feels, right? Oh my if god, this, I cannot believe this is the original Freon in here. This is just like picking up the car Brand in, like, from the dealership. From the dealership. From the dealership. This is how the seats would have felt, this is how the seats would have looked, this is how the air conditioning would have worked, the clock. Yeah. I mean, we don't have like, any clocks now in the cars. Everything's digital. Everything's digital. It's nice we're, to have something. I mean, we're lot. essentially driving a brand new 1970 yeah. Mach 1 428 yes. Cobra Jet. 1,000%. Oh, thousand my percent. God. How amazing is that? Never thought I'd ever say that in my life. Mm -hmm. And, guys, keep in mind, this is a one-of-one one car. Yes, uh, it is. Just one, like The only one in the world. Just like we're, we're going to show you guys in a little bit. We actually have the Marty report for this vehicle. Yeah, Mar from the 90s. Marty report. Yeah. From the 90s. Yep, yep. And if anybody knows anything about the Marty reports, it is a long process. It is a long it's process. Not, it's not something that's done right away, but it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, if someone plans on actually buying this car and actually driving it, I mean, that's what I would do. I understand that it's kind of sacrilegious to do that, being the fact that this is, uh, 
8,000 mile original car, you definitely want to go over the brakes and shocks. And that's something that we could do for the potential buyer if that's the decision that he wants to go with. That's something that could easily be done. But I can imagine a lot of Ford collectors out there um, would be hooting and hollering if we took the original shocks off and started taking original parts off and cleaned the car all up and made it look the way we want it to look. So again, we're leaving that decision up to our community and we're hoping for some direction from you guys out there to tell us what we should, we should do with this car and what everyone thinks that we should do with this car. But so far, I'm just enjoying driving this thing. I mean, we're stuck in a time capsule. I mean, if you it's crazy. I haven't, I haven't said much because I'm just soaking it up. You're in awe, right? <laughs> It is awesome. It's I'm so in awe cool. about the original air condition with the original Freon. And I can't It's still blowing that. ice cold. Like, it's still. That works, the radio. Definitely, definitely could use a tune up. Or maybe it just needs to continue being driven to kind of work all its bugs out, you know, and, and kind of work through everything. You know what? I, I think you're right. I think we should uh, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep driving. <laughs> All right, Joe, we've seen the engine, we've seen the outside of the car, we've seen the inside of the car, and we even got to see the trunk. So uh, what do you think we're going to do with it? I'll clean it up. I mean, this thing's disgusting, whoa, right? Whoa, it's got whoa, this whoa, like... Whoa, 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 whoa. This car, guys, this car has sat for a very long time in a climate controlled area, acquiring this dust for over almost 50, over 50 years already. And we can't just simply just take that away. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I just put a, I don't. Can I just, can I just put some like spray wax no, or waterless wash? I wax? think I think we should let the people decide. I mean, it's dirty though. I mean, it's a dirty car. But that's that's not dirt. That's time. It looks like dirt to me. It took a lot of time for me to acquire this this face. Can I just one spray? No. Just the, wait, wait. What are you doing? Just the front. What are you doing? <laughs> No, I think we should let the people decide. All right, guys, we'll keep it up to the No Reserve Classics community that follow us and everybody on our social media and everybody who pays close attention to us. We're going to let you guys decide. We're going to keep the car just the way it is right now, and uh, we'll see what happens from there, right? Yeah, so leave a comment down below and uh, let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Should we clean it up or yeah. should we keep it original? We will be reading all of your comments. We'll be uh, responding to all of your comments, so respond to us and let us know what to do. We're in a bit of a pickle here. I like that, dude. Because <laughs> the car matches it. Yeah, it's <laughs> And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because you never know. Your dream ride could be in the next video.